Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. Hi, welcome to Introduction to French. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by. Hi, everyone, I'm Candice. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of French pronunciation. In the previous lesson, you learned that roughly 30% of all English words share their origins with French words. Because of this, French pronunciation is quite similar to English. In fact, there are more common sounds than there are different ones. For example, bou, sandwich, dain, gain. Chances are you can imitate these words without much difficulty because these words use common sounds that exist in English. Of course. There are a few differences between French and English sounds too. Agneau, roux, huit, sans. These unfamiliar sounds are the ones that you need to focus on and practice. Let's take a look at some of those sounds. A big aspect of French pronunciation relates to nasalization. Nasalization simply means to pronounce something through the nose. For example, the M and N sounds are considered nasal consonants because the air escapes your nose when you pronounce these sounds. Mm. Mm. In French, some vowels can be pronounced through the mouth or through the nose. Compare oral vowels with nasal vowels in French. Une, un, sonne, son, certaine. Certain. Nasal vowels are used often in French, so it's important that you learn them in the near future. Another unique French sound is the guttural R sound. R, 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 R. This R sound is pronounced at the back of the mouth. It sounds almost as if you're gargling. Lastly, let's take a look at the French U sound. U, chute, ru, tu. To pronounce this sound, try saying E as in C, and then from there, slowly run your lips. U. French is renowned for being a language full of silent letters, particularly at the end of words. Consider the following. Je vais manger au restaurant. The S in the word va, the R in the word manger, and the T at the end of restaurant are all silent letters. We don't actually pronounce them in French. Listen to it again. Je vais manger au restaurant. In fact, most of the time, the last letter of a French word is actually silent. Coup, froid, vous. There are, of course, exceptions to this rule. Let's look at the most common case when the next word starts with a vowel. Ordinarily, the final letter of a French word is silent. Vous. The final S in this word is silent, but when the next word begins with a vowel, vous avez. The S is no longer silent and is instead pronounced like a Z sound. Vous avez. The two words are connected by the Z sound and pronounced as if they were a single word. This linking of words through the activation of the silent letter is a common phenomenon in French known as liaison. It's the special quality which makes French sound the way that it does. Let's look at a few more examples of liaison in action. Tout, tout homme, un, un ami. Neuf, neuf ans. Gentil, gentil enfant. Liaisons may seem a little difficult to learn at first, but they will only get easier and more intuitive by the time you get used to pronouncing whole sentences in French. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned that there are more familiar sounds than unfamiliar sounds in French. We showed you some unfamiliar sounds like nasal vowels, the guttural R, and the French U. You also learn that the final letter in a French word is usually silent, and that the letter becomes active if the next word starts with a vowel. This process is known as liaison. 
We've covered only the basics of French pronunciation. If you're interested in learning more, check out the entire course we created, named The Ultimate Guide to French Pronunciation. In that course, we cover and break down every single sound in the French language, showing you mouth and tongue positioning and giving you tips to help you perfect your French pronunciation. Hey watchers, this week we're gonna learn about top 25 French phrases. Let's go! Bonjour. Bonjour is hello. Bonjour. 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 Hey! Okay, now you can say bonjour any time of the day, even if it's night. Salut. Hi. Hi is uh, salut. Salut, comment ça va? Hey, how you doing? So, salut is like bonjour, and you can also use it to say hi and to say goodbye. So when you leave, you can also say salut, à la prochaine. Ça va. How are you? You can say ça va, like just after salut, ça va. Or bonjour, ça va. Or comment ça va? If you only say ça va, it's kind of missing something, so put it after a greeting. So, how are you? How you doing? Comment ça va? Bonsoir. Good evening. Not good night. Almost good night, but not. Bonsoir is also a greeting you can use when you leave or when you enter someone's place. For example, if you go in the evening to someone's house or party, you can say, ah, bonsoir tout le monde. Bonne nuit. Good night. Good night is bonne nuit. Person sleeping next to you. Bonne nuit. Or to your family when you go to sleep. Oui. Yes. Yeah. Oui. You also say yeah. Maybe you've heard oui, oui. Like French people often do this. Oui, oui. It's also a cartoon for children. Oui, oui and his little car. You should try and watch it in French. It's very educative. Non. Non, non. You have oui, oui and non, non. We often say them both. Just use yes and no. Oui et non. Je m'appelle. My name is. Je m'appelle Lia. You knew that already, huh? What's your name? Leave it in the comment in French. S'il vous plaît, please. Please, s'il vous plaît. This is a polite version, and if you want the more friendly version, is s'il te plaît, if you're asking a friend. S'il te plaît, give me your candy, I'm starving. S'il te plaît, donne-moi des bonbons. L'addition, s'il vous plaît. D'accord, okay. So, we also use okay, but with a French accent. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? When you come to the cinema with me? D'accord. Excusez-moi. Excuse me. If someone is blocking the way, you just say, Excusez-moi. Merci. Thank you. Please learn this one and be polite. In French, we just have merci. There is no short version of it and you can use it for anyone. So when you receive something at the grocery store, ah, merci. Or when someone does your favor, ah, merci. If you want to be really polite or really thankful, you can say merci beaucoup. Thanks a lot. De rien. So you are welcome. If someone says merci to you, you can just say, ah, de rien. So merci et de rien. Those come in a pair, so learn them together. It's nice. Il est quelle heure? What time is it? Or, quelle heure il est? You will more often hear the second version. So, oh, excusez-moi, quelle heure il est? Excuse me, what time is it? Où sont les toilettes? Where is the bathroom? We don't have many available bathroom in public places and usually they are really dirty. So, or maybe if you are at someone's house, you can ask, où sont les toilettes? Enchanté, nice to meet you. Bonjour, enchanté, je m'appelle Lia. And here you have three of today's words together. Isn't it nice? Bonjour, je m'appelle Lia, enchanté, comment ça va? Hi, nice to meet you, my name is Lia. How are you doing? And you have all of them to greet people and start a nice conversation. So nice to meet you. Enchanté. A bientôt. See you soon. This is what I should say at the end of each video. See you soon. Or a bientôt. Use it when you leave. That's about it. A demain. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. A demain. Yeah. Au revoir. Bye bye. Or goodbye. Au revoir is kind of polite. You can use it with everyone as well. So if you want to be more friendly, we use like ciao. Au revoir is only for leaving, so, so yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, watchers. See you next time. A bientôt. <laughs> no, not yet, because I'm going to see you guys a lot. Bien sûr. Of course. Bien sûr que c'est le cas. If you want to be sarcastic, you can say, oui, bien sûr. We mostly use it this way, because we like being sarcastic. So, yeah, of course. Yes, yes, you are. Yes. 
je peux utiliser... Oh, may I use something, something? So fill the blank with whatever you want. Can I use your pencil? Je peux utiliser ce stylo. Oui, oui. Je suis désolé. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, if you bump into someone, you can also use this one. Like, oh, je suis désolé. If I bump into somebody, they won't wake up, da? Moon, don't go where it pleases! Yeah! Terminator is more like this. I'm sorry, je suis désolé. Pourquoi? Why? Why? Pourquoi? C'est vrai? Really? C'est vrai? C'est vrai? Huh? Fine. So, if you are hearing gossip and stuff, you can be like, oh, c'est vrai? No, no, c'est vrai? Oh, c'est vrai? Really? Yeah. And you can use it with all the intonations. C'est vrai? C'est vrai. So the opposite of c'est vrai is c'est pas vrai. No, it's not. Or not really. Je ne comprends pas. I don't understand. Lia never understand. Lia say her name a lot. Or else she forgets. <laughs> Happened before. When someone is speaking too fast, like I do, I'm sorry, je suis désolé. You can tell them je ne comprends pas. Or Yeah, because they have all those fancy French words and vocabulary. You can be like, non, je ne comprends pas. At the end! So, remember those main sentences and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment if you ne comprends pas. Bye bye! Au revoir et à bientôt! Hey, watchers, and welcome back to Top Words. This week will be about top 10 hardest words to pronounce. So, what's hard to pronounce in French? Heureux, happy, heureux. Is it so hard to pronounce? Maybe for English speakers, because the E sound is really peculiar to the French language. Heureux, heureux. Because I'm happy. Parce que je suis heureux. You make me happy. Tu me rends heureux. Car. Yeah. Huile d'olive. Olive oil. Really? Huile d'olive. Yeah, it's full of oui, 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 oui. oui. You try it? Huile d'olive. It's a oily sound. Huile. <laughs> I like olive oil. J'aime l'huile d'olive. Pasta with olive oil. Des pâtes à l'huile d'olive. This is delicious. Je. I. 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 Je. It's also the same sound for game. Des jeux. Jeux vidéo. Video games. It's the E sound again. Try it. E. Je vais à la mer. I'm going to the beach. Je voudrais sortir. I would like to go out. Je voudrais sortir. It's again full of... <laughs> It sounds like the French language is made only of vowels. Je voudrais sortir. <laughs> I would like to go out tonight. Je voudrais sortir ce soir. And party! Livre. Book. Oh, I see, because for English-speaking people, the R sound is also quite difficult to pronounce in French. Livre, because it's kind of like a motor. J'aime lire des livres. I like reading books. That must be a complicated sentence to say for you guys. Mémoire. Memory. Mémoire. Je n'ai pas de mémoire. I got no memory. Three seconds memory. <laughs> Trois secondes de mémoire. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Yeah, the E and R sound again. Merci. Don't forget to roll the R a little bit. Ugh. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Je vous remercie. I thank you. Kind sir or kind lady, madam. Mercredi, Wednesday. Mercredi, have fun trying to pronounce this one. Mercredi, je fais du sport le mercredi. I do sports on Wednesday. Not true. Quincaillerie, hardware store. Quincaillerie, acheter un marteau à la quincaillerie. To buy a hammer at the hardware store. Très bien. Very good. Très bien. Ooh, <laughs> this also must be complicated. Très bien. Try to roll the R sound again. Très bien. You did really good. Tu as très bien fait. 
If you can pronounce this one, it's très bien. If you can pronounce this one, it's very good. And in the end, so try to try and pronounce the other word and pay a particular attention to the E sound and R. <laughs> and we'll see you next time for more words. Don't forget to subscribe and check the website. See you next time. A bientôt. Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. Welcome back, watchers. This week we are going to talk about 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's go. Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. I would be really amazed if you told me that in French. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. Nice. Très bien. Very good. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. And it took you only one year to become fluent. Nice. 10 years is a long way to go, but it may be the time you need to learn a language properly, actually. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. All by myself. I'm learning French all by... Now you're learning French with me. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I speak French like a native speaker in three years. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I'll speak French like an active speaker in three years. Good luck with that. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Wow, that's amazing, yeah. That's really amazing. So yeah, if you told me that in French, I would be amazed. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Man, and this is also really good. And it's a really good way to learn as well. So do it whenever you can. You can try by starting to watch Le Fabuleux Destin d'Amélie Poulain. It's a very famous French movie. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. Apart from knowing French, I can speak a few other languages as well. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. <laughs> Apart from knowing French, I can speak another few languages as well. Good job! I bet you can also speak English! <gasps> That's already two languages! Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn. Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn! Well, I'm glad you enjoy it, and I hope you will continue to enjoy the lessons with me as well. Okay. Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Wow. If someone tells you this, it means not only you're really good at speaking French, but you also got no accent at all. And it's the end. So don't forget to subscribe to learn more French. And what's the best sentence you can say in French? Amaze me in the comments. And we'll see you next time. See you guys and girls and watchers and kittens. So welcome back, watchers. How are your studies going? Because this week we're going to talk about 10 ways to remember words. Here we go. J'apprends les racines des mots et comment les mots différents sont liés les uns aux autres. I learn about the roots of words and how different words are related to each other. Most of the um, roots of words in French are from Latin and Greek, ancient Greek and ancient Latin. So sometimes when you know the history of the word with the Latin word, it can help you remember the word or understanding where it comes from. J'associe des nouveaux mots avec des mots qui sont similaires dans ma langue maternelle. I associate new words with words that sound similar in my native language. 
J'associe des nouveaux mots avec des mots qui sonnent similaires dans ma langue maternelle. This one works too, but can be tricky for some of the words. For example, pub. You write pub or pub in French is advertising, whereas in English it's the place where you go drinking. So be careful with that one and not mix words that are the same, but are not really the same. Let's go. J'essaie d'utiliser la langue couramment dans le contexte de la vie quotidienne. I try to use the language routinely in the context of daily life. J'essaie d'utiliser la langue couramment dans le contexte de la vie quotidienne. I try to use the language routinely in the context of daily life. One good tip for that is, for example, on your freezer or your refrigerator, you put some stickers with the words or, or the food that's inside. The door, you put in French, la porte, and le frigo, the fridge, or spoons, les cuillères. So if you put the stickers, you will see them every day in your everyday life, and you can help with remembering the words. J'essaye de réfléchir en français pour que cela devienne naturel dans mon mécanisme de pensée. I try to think in French so it become natural in my thought process. J'essaye de réfléchir en français pour que cela devienne naturel dans mon mécanisme de pensée. I try to sing in French so it becomes natural in my thought process. And after a while, you can even start dreaming in the foreign language. It's funny. Sometimes I dream in English. J'utilise la répétition. Je lis, j'écris et je prononce des mots sans arrêt. I use repetition. Reading, writing and speaking words over and over again. J'utilise la répétition. Je lis, j'écris et je prononce des mots sans arrêt. I use repetition, reading, writing and speaking words over and over again. Yeah, depending on the language, you need to write them a lot because French is kind of really different the way you write it and the way you pronounce it. So try writing it a lot. Je dis des mots à haute voix afin que je puisse les entendre correctement. I say words out loud so I can actually hear them. Je dis des mots à voix haute afin que je puisse les entendre correctement. I say words out loud so I can actually hear them. Singing in the shower! Why not? Go sing in the shower by yourself, this way you can hear the words. And it's easier to actually sing words sometimes than just speaking them out loud. So go and take a shower and sing in French! Je parle le plus possible avec des locuteurs natifs. I speak as often as possible with native speakers. Je parle le plus possible avec des locuteurs natifs. I speak as often as possible with native speakers, which is a really good way. Not only you get to learn the language and you also get to make friends and they can correct you and help you with pronunciation and sentences. So, yeah. Je regarde souvent la télévision ou des vidéos YouTube qui sont conçues pour les jeunes enfants. I often watch TV or YouTube videos that are designed for young children. Je regarde souvent la télévision ou des vidéos YouTube qui sont conçues pour les jeunes enfants. And this is also a good way because they will teach you in the video like they teach to children and you will learn a way children will do. Yeah, you can look at the Rise Explorer in French and she will repeat the words for you very often. So in French, swiper, no swiping will be arrête de chipper, chipper. Because chipper is a cute word to say steal, so it's like Stop stealing, steely! Arrête de chipper, chipper! Arrête de chipper, chipper! Arrête de chipper, chipper! J'écoute des chansons et j'apprends les paroles par cœur. I listen to songs and memorize the lyrics. I used to do that and check the lyrics and words when I wouldn't understand. And then realize that all my favorite songs have stupid lyrics. Je suis persévérante. Je pratique tous les jours en parlant à ma famille ou à mes chiens, même s'ils ne me comprennent pas. I'm persistent in practicing every day by talking to my family or my dogs, even so they don't understand me. Je suis persévérante. Je pratique tous les jours en parlant à ma famille ou à mes chiens, même s'ils ne comprennent pas. I'm persistent in practicing every day by talking to my family or my dogs, even though they don't understand me. Hello kitty, how are you doing today? Ah, oh. aren't we sad people? Hi doggy, you're my only friend. Let me speak French to you. That's a good doggy in French. Yeah, sure. At least you are interacting with people or 
animals or stuff. Plants like it when you speak to them, they grow better it seems. So if you want a fancy plant, you can just speak fancy French to it. And it's the end! <laughs> so what's your best tip to learn a new language? You can leave it in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more French learning and check the website for more French and cultural points and everything else. We'll see you next time. A bientôt! Parate de robar, robador! No robas, robador! No robas, robador! Oui, oui, it is. Yes. Welcome back to French Weekly Words. And this week, let's start right away with studying a language. This is what you are actually doing, right? Étudier une langue. Let's go with the first one. Ah, adjective. Adjective. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Study grammar properly. What kind of sentence can you do with adjective? Quel genre de phrase pouvez-vous faire avec adjectif? Seriously. Next one is apprendre. Learn. To learn is apprendre. To learn a language, apprendre une langue. Or it's good to learn. C'est bien d'apprendre. Next. Étudier. Study. I love to study. J'aime étudier. Or studying French is fun. Étudier le français c'est fun. I study French. J'étudie le français. Language. Langue. I work at innovative language. Je travaille à les langues innovatives. <laughs> it doesn't work in French, right? In French, uh, langue is also the word for tongue. Learning a new language is fun. Apprendre une nouvelle langue est fun. I love learning languages. <laughs> J'adore apprendre des langues. Next! Répéter. Répéter is to repeat. Pourriez-vous répéter? Can you repeat? And if you want to be polite, pouvez-vous répéter s'il vous plaît? Can you repeat, please? So again, when you speak with French people and they speak really fast, you just ask, will you repeat it? Next is the end. I hope I helped you a bit and I hope you will remember some of those. <laughs> By the way, what would be your favorite French noun or your favorite French adjective? So don't forget to leave a comment, check the word list and see you next week. Bye! You've decided to study a new language, so now what? Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Start learning now. To master a new language and understand everything as soon as you hear it, to read with just a quick glance and speak smoothly without thinking, you need to review. Here are our top five review tactics. Number one, listen to examples over and over again. By listening closely and often, you start to pick up the rhythm of a language, as well as correct pronunciation from a native speaker. Use our line-by-line -line feature that lets you both listen and read along. Use this tool to practice as much as possible. Number two, 
use our voice recording tool to master perfect pronunciation. Record yourself and compare it against the native speaker. If you sound different, then repeat after the native speaker until you're able to match them. Use our voice recording feature, which makes recording super easy. Number three, master your recorded conversations. Record conversations and go over them again and again. Master entire conversations and repeat them line by line. Use any of the dialogues available for download on our website. These come with transcripts of the entire conversation. Number four, use mobile devices to reinforce previously learned conversations. Constant review is the best way to progress in your language studies. Download the recorded dialogue to your mobile device and incorporate it into your music playlist. Quick reviews throughout the day effectively reinforce what you've learned. Number five, read with line-by-line -line notes. Read along with a native speaker to really master pronunciation and natural intonation. You should start slow at first, then slowly increase your speed. Your pronunciation will become more natural. You will also see that your ability to understand fluent speakers will greatly increase. You'll be able to improve your communication skills using these five simple review techniques. Increase your understanding of your target language. And remember, if you're interested in getting all these review tools, Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start reviewing more every day. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day.